Hi everyone, welcome back. First of all, I want to say thank you all so very much for all your wonderful comments in my previous video about the distortion testing, especially about why the C1 was not disabled after 10 minutes of shooting. Many of you said that you've learned so much from my videos, but the reality is I have learned so much more from your good and informational comments than I can ever share. And together, they become a good educational platform for Star Citizen players, new and old. And because this game has so many details in so many areas, and the learning curve is very steep, and it also keeps evolving and adding new details every single patch. However, for this video, I am just going to test one thing. I'm going to shoot the C1 again with distortion cannon, but this time I'm going to shoot the C1 at the back. I am in position and I am going to shoot the C1 from the back in an off angle, about 45 degrees. I am going to give full power to my shield. And this is four size three sucker punch cannon. So distortion cannon, let's see the power of distortion cannon. Okay, weapons free, fire. Attack on shields. Okay, sucker punch cannon, that's one round. Recharging, 44, 45%. Oh, my shield recovers so fast. Okay, shooting another round. Okay, another round is done, 43%. So the enemy ship is recharging distortions. Now my shield recovers. So if I give 100% power to shield, he will never be able to penetrate through my ship. Now I'm going to reset my power triangle. So 33% power to shield. Okay, shooting. Attack on shields. Now my shield goes down quite fast. Okay, recharging. 16% recharged. Shooting again. There we go. I don't have a chance to recharge my shield fully. Three, two, one. Shield failure. Shields down. Taking distortion damage. Oh! I was wondering why I'm not sh can't shoot anymore because my ship is already disabled. It's really fast. Now I am in a free fall. So yesterday I was shooting at the nose of the C1 for over 10 minutes. Cannot disable the ship. Now I am in a free fall. Oh, I'm gonna hit the ice. I'm gonna hit the ice. Oh, will I survive this? Will I survive this? Oh, I survived again. Wow. All right, finally. I do have some damage on the ship. All right, one last thing I wanna check out is a sub targeting in Star Citizen. So I'm gonna target enemy ship. And sub target, sub target, sub target. So the key bind for sub targeting by default is number eight. Let me try number eight. No, nope. sub targeting is broken. I remember a few patches ago, sub targeting works very well. You can sub target engines and stuff. But right now it's broken. If you play Elite Dangerous, you know the sub targeting for Elite Dangerous is quite good. You can choose to sub target every single component. Or weapons. If you're fighting the Thargoids, you can stop targeting the hearts. Of course, that's the only best way to defeat them. But in Star Citizen, we do need a good sub targeting system. All right, enemy shield is down. And I'm gonna see how long I can disable the ship. Wow! I think less than 10 seconds. Once I took down the enemy shield, less than 10 seconds, I disabled this A1 if I shoot in the right place with the sucker punch. I think the distortion cannons are more powerful than the distortion repeaters. And I think I agree with some of you. The distortion in game is quite broken, especially PVP. You can just disable player ship and troll the players. So it does need, we need distortions in game. It's really fun to use, but I think it does need some kind of balance. That's my personal opinion after all these tests. What do you think? Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.